This evening began with a very simple idea to give our congregation the opportunity after a long and difficult period of pandemic distance to come back and fellowship together and celebrate together. As Providence would have it, that conversation began right around the time that notice of a very generous testamentary gift arrived at our doorstep. So tonight's event happened for two reasons. One, because of the generosity of John and Evelyn McKenzie, who left a generous bequest to Larchmont Avenue Church in their wills. And two, because of the commitment and faith of elders and deacons and trustees and others who are taking to heart the hope of our 2020 mission study, which said, we would like for the ministries of LAC to connect us more closely to God and with one another. As we looked ahead to this evening, we asked some of our officers to think about what means the most to them about LAC? What warms their heart about this congregation? In short, what would they like to celebrate? What are they celebrating about LAC? Here are some of the answers that our officers gave. Hello everyone and a big welcome from the welcoming committee. I'm so thrilled that you're all here with us tonight and I just wanted to share what um, really inspires me about LAC is our ability to connect with the community and to serve and to care for each other, whether they be community members or our own congregation and just really be there for each other. Good evening, I'm Church Moore, a trustee at LAC. Welcome to this evening's church celebration. LAC is one of my happy places uh, for at least one hour each week. I can avoid the screens and the background noise of daily life and focus on more important things while surrounded by a group of thoughtful and considerate people. So thank you, LAC. My name is Alexandra LeClaire, and I love Larchmont Avenue Church because for over 36 years, the excellent pastoral leadership of the church and the wonderful, supportive, and loving congregation have supported my family and me through some pretty sad, dark times and also celebrated with us some of our very most joyous times. Welcome. The one aspect of Larchmont Avenue Church I appreciate the most is our incredibly strong connection to the local community via donations and via volunteering. I love a lot of things about Larchmont Avenue Church, but I'm gonna mention two. I love our pastors, Peter and Anna Grace, who are great spiritual leaders and give a wonderful sermon every Sunday that stays with you throughout the week. The other thing I love about our church is the people who go there. They're kind, they're warm, they're fun, and they care about each other. Good evening, everyone. I'm delighted to welcome you to our dinner, celebrating the extremely generous gift from the McKenzie family. That gift is helping us to carry forward the vital role LAC has played in our community for nearly 110 years. I'm inspired by that tradition, as I am by our two wonderful pastors, Peter and Anna Grace, who educate and guide us in all they do. And what warms my heart each Sunday is passing the peace, where I can greet old friends, make new friends, and feel a great sense of community and connection. Enjoy the evening. One of the many things that inspires me about our church is that we welcome everyone. My son-in-law, who was raised Roman Catholic, called LAC his home when he was living in Larchmont. My daughter-in-law, who was raised in the Jewish faith, loves coming here because she feels welcomed and included. She never misses a service when she's here for the holidays. So, LAC, we deserve to be celebrated for welcoming everyone who comes through our doors. Welcome to tonight's celebration. For me, LAC is a place where I can be, I can see and feel the Holy Spirit. I feel it through worship and service. And I see it in all of you and the example that you set for me to follow. My involvement here drives me to be a better person. Hi, I'm Beverly. During my years at LAC, I've really grown spiritually. This 
has come about through wonderful sermons, Bible studies I've participated in, meaningful music, opportunities to serve the church and the community, and having great relationships with others in the congregation. I pray that this will be your experience as well. So it's been, we're leaving with, it's, it's a bittersweet moment. You know, you're saying goodbye to so many friends. It's our home, it's, it's our second home. Our son is buried in the memorial garden. And, uh, so that binds the tie right there. Uh, it'll always be in our prayers. And so will the congregation be in our prayers. They've been really good, good friends. May I hope that the church will continue to be here I really hope it stays as a church for a long, long time. So many of our friends that we've made are no longer with us anymore. You know. The good Lord has taken them and He's not given them back, but they've left us with many fond memories. Yeah. Tonight, as you enjoy this warm fellowship and the hospitality that we can offer to each other, I ask you the same question that we asked our officers. What is it about this church that means the most to you? Tonight, what are you celebrating about Larchmont Avenue Church?